So President Xi will be there very soon, and his visit has been making headlines there. Tell us more about those coverage, and how is the city planning to welcome the Chinese guest? Hi, Mang Mang. Yes, uh, President Xi will be arriving in just about an hour. He'll touch down and will be greeted immediately by former governors in the welcoming committee, including uh, former governor um, Christine Guaguar and also uh, former governor Gary Locke, who is the former ambassador to China. They head up the welcoming committee that is also, uh, uh, that also includes Satya Nadella from Microsoft and Howard Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks. Um, he's certainly making headlines right now. Um, the morning paper here, local Chinese feelings, pride, also misgivings all about Xi. There's an entire section devoted to him. Also in the uh, entire insert all about Xi and his connections to the United States and especially Iowa too. And uh, a lot of uh, great sentiment out here, um, especially among students who are really excited and preparing to meet him as President Xi will also be visiting a high school in Tacoma. They're all preparing the signs in the paper and also discussing uh, that they just want to make a good impression. So it's a it's sort of a cute nervousness that's happening among them. Also, um, um, President Xi is making headlines because he recently gave an interview, uh, answered questions, uh, written questions to the uh, Wall Street Journal. Um, he emphasized China's role in global security and cybersecurity and also tried to allay concerns about the Chinese economy. Uh, back to you, Ma Meng. Well, Mark, we also understand that Seattle is a city that prides itself on business opportunities and a very high profile roundtable. A uh, roundtable meeting will give business executives from both sides a chance to explore more opportunities and more, um, more possibilities as well. So um, tell us more about that and what are the expectations on the business front? That's right. Um, President Xi will give a major policy speech tonight and that will be at an um, event where he'll be speaking before 650 guests. Uh, many of them business leaders and also uh, former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger will be attending. So this will be important. And I talked to um, um, Ambassador Gary Locke, who was really hoping that President Xi will sort of um, allay fears and uh, create a sense of stability, or at least show that there's a plan for the economy. A lot of companies are worried about access to China, and also when the American companies are in China, they want uh, a level playing field. And so um, Ambassador Locke emphasize that to me. Also, the, um, the sponsor of the event, the um, China Business Group, uh, the President, John Frisbee, recently wrote that she has an opportunity to shape opinion. Whether he will do so in a way that reduces uncertainty and boosts confidence will determine the trend line of the relationship for the remainder of the Obama administration. Those are some very strong words. And he also said that cybersecurity poses the greatest threat to the U.S. Sino relationship. That's another huge topic on the agenda. There had been talk of a possible arms accord for cyberspace, the first one ever between China and the U.S., though um, U.S. officials have stated that. Um, they don't expect a, a formal agreement, but they have uh, had good talks on a possible framework. Both sides, China and the U.S., have accused each other of hacking into their systems. But um, also Gary Locke weighed in on that, saying that what's needed is really some clear rules of the road. So that's another interesting uh, element for business because uh, there will be a high-tech forum. In addition to this long list of <laughs> places he, got, he has to visit in two years, there will be a high-tech forum where um, many business leaders and high-tech leaders like Apple's CEO Tim Cook, uh, Microsoft representatives, Amazon, they'll all be there hoping to get their face time and, and talk to President Xi Jinping to discuss access to China and the rules about operating in China. Back to you. Well, so many talks to be looking forward to. Thank you so much, Mark, for bringing us that.